Hey there, in this Photoshop tutorial I want to show you how to automatically color correct your images and how to remove color casts from any image in just a few seconds. Usually I avoid using automatic corrections in Photoshop because most of the times they don't work and the result that you get is really awful unless you know how to use them. And in this video I want to show you how to properly use auto corrections uh, to make some really effective color uh, changes and color corrections and remove color casts from your images. We're going to use curves, but you can use levels. It works exactly the same. I'm going to add a curves adjustment here. And this works for any kind of color cast. This image has a green color cast on it, but it works for any image. In fact, I have another one here and I'm going to show you how it works the same. And here uh, on the right side of the RGB um, of the channel selector, here you have this auto button. If you click it, you will see that the auto uh, correction um, that makes Photoshop, it's not really good. It just affects the contrast, but the colors cast is the same. And on top of that, the colors are bl blown out here. You can see the highlights. A slightly better way is using this eyedropper tools and for example, select the highlights and sample one highlight. And let's say for example here, and Photoshop will make um, some channel um, corrections there or for the shadows the same just click there and you can see how it makes some changes but it's not really the best way of doing it. The best way of doing it is using this auto correction but uh, with a tweak. Just press and hold the alt key and click this auto button but first make sure you, you uncheck any of the eyedropper um, tools that you have selected there. So just press and hold the alt key, click, click the auto button and this new panel opens. And here, all you need to do is just select Find Dark and Light Colors. And you can see how the adjustment is a lot better. It does not touch the contrast. It just changes the tones. You can see how it changes here the channels automatically. And in most cases, uh, activating this setting that says Snap Neutral Midtones usually works um, better. Uh, in this case it's a bit extreme, but anyways, I'm gonna click OK and my adjustment is ready. If I you see the before and after. Now it's a bit too magenta, so we probably go, probably go into the green channel and pull it back just a bit. This is a bit more advanced, so if you're a complete beginner, just don't touch this and uh, and you'll be fine. Just drop the opacity of this adjustment a bit using this opacity slider and that's it. This works exactly the same with levels. Uh, if I add this, you can see this auto button here. But I like to work with curves because as I said, uh, well, um, you can add points here. And you can see if you pay attention, this RGB line it's not has not been affected. So I can modify the contrast here without touch well without uh, changing the color tones on the image so that's why I like this adjustment now I'm gonna try and auto correct this image using the same technique I'm gonna add a curves adjustment alt click the auto button and click find and uh, dark and light colors and snap mid neutral midtones and click OK and you can see that the adjustment is done you can see all the changes that um, the adjustment made to the curves here on the on the channels and this is the before and this is the after and as you can see this works for any kind of color cast and it does a pretty good job if you want you can uh, once you uh, check this uh, settings here you can save this as a default and the next time you click the auto button it will apply this settings without having to press and hold the alt key so that's how you can color correct images in photoshop fast and effectively. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm Andre from PSD Box and we'll see you on the next tutorial.